Till now, in this exercise, we completed 9 problems. I hope by this time you got some clarity about how to check injectivity and surjectivity of a function. In this exercise, another 3 problems are there. We are going to complete this exercise in this class. This is exercise number 1.2, question number 10. You see what is the given information. They are given set A equal to all real numbers except 3. Set B is given as all real numbers except 1. Ok. A is all real numbers except 3. B is all real numbers except 1. Consider the function f from a to b. Here they are saying f is a function from a to b and it is defined as f of x equal to x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. Now the question is, is f is 1, 1 on 2? So they given f is a function from a to b and the function is defined like this. They are asking is f is 1, 1 on 2? That means you need to check 1, 1 function and on 2 function. This question is easy only but lengthy pattern is there. You see how we prove this. First, they given set A, set B and they given that f is from A to B. Okay. And the function is defined as f of x equal to x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. This is the given information from the question. I need to check 1, 1 function. You know how we will check 1, 1 function. First, we will take f of x1 equal to f of x2 and we will start simplifying. If we came to know f after simplification, we got x1 equal to x2, then we say the function is 1, 1 function. You observe here, they given f of x like this. First, what I considered, I considered f of x1 equal to f of x2. What is f of x1? x1 minus 2 divided by x1 minus 3. What is f of x2? x2 minus 2 divided by x2 minus 3. This is the information they given. Now, I will simplify this. First, you cross multiply x1 minus 2 into x2 minus 3 equal to x2 minus 2 into x1 minus 3. Now multiply these terms x1 x2 minus 3 x1 minus 2 x2 plus 6. Okay, here also you multiply x1 x2 minus 3 x2 minus 2 x1 plus 6. I just multiply these terms. Now you see here this plus x1 x2 here plus x1 x2 will get cancelled because equality is there here. Now here this plus 6 and this plus 6 will get cancelled. Now you see here this is minus 3x1, this is minus 2x1. You take minus 2x1 to this left hand side. Then what you will get? Minus 3x1 plus 2x1. Minus 3x1 plus 2x1 is minus x1. Okay. Minus 3x2, take this to right, uh, right hand side. Minus 3x2 plus 2x2 is minus x2. So here minus minus will get cancelled. You will get x1 equal to x2. I hope you are understanding. What happened? We started with f of x1 equal to f of x2. After simplification, we got x1 equal to x2. That's what I written here. Therefore, f of x1 equal to f of x2 implies x1 equal to x2. So what we can say? We can say the function is 1, 1 function. So they are asking is this function is 1, 1 on 2. I checked 1, 1 function. I came to know that this function is 1, 1 function. Now, I need to prove this function is onto function. To prove, to check whether the function is onto function or not, what I will do first, I will take x equal to like this. Let x equal to 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. How you will come to know how to take x like this? How you will come to know this? Very simple. You, uh, given function is there, f of x. You take f of x equal to y. See here, this is f of x. You take this as y. You look here, f of x, I taken this as y. Now, you simplify this and you write x in terms of y. See here, you take x minus 3 to this side. Multiply xy minus 3y. Okay. Now, what I did here, I taken xy to this side, left hand side. Then what you will get? x minus xy equal to 2 minus 3y. Then I taken in x minus xy, x common. x into 1 minus y equal to minus 2 taken to right hand side then it will become plus 2, 2 minus 3y. You know you can simplify all these things easily. What I am trying to say here, first you take f of x equal to y and simplify you write x in terms of y. So here I take an x common and then I take an 1 minus y to the right hand side. So I got x in terms of y. x equal to 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. 
So you take x equal to 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. <clears throat> now what you need to check? You need to take an element in codomain set. For that there exists at least one premise x in domain set or not you need to check. First thing they give I, I taken y y you take y in codomain set. Codomain set is what b. What is b here? b is r minus 1 that's why I taken an element y in set b. <coughs> set b is r minus 1. Okay. That means y is not 1. What is y? It may be any real number other than 1. So then what is x? You substitute y value in this. What is y? Any real number other than 1. You substitute y value any real number other than 1. Then you will get x is a real number other than 3. Other than 3. You can check when you put uh, whatever y value you take other than 1, whatever y value you take, you substitute in this, you will get a real number other than 3. That you check in the margin. Okay. Now, actually, general pattern is what to prove onto function. First, I'll take x equal to something. Uh, sorry. First, I'll take uh, an element in codomain set. For that, respect to element x exists in domain or not, I'll check such that f of x equal to y. By this time, I hope you got some clarity how to do onto function. I am trying to prove here f of x equal to y. f of x. What is x? I take in x as 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. Okay. So in place of x, I written this 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. In the question, they given f of x. What is f of x? f of x is given as x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. Here, Wherever x is there, wherever x is there, there you write 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. See, f of x is what? f of x is defined as x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. That is defined in the question. f of x is x minus 2 divided by x minus 3. Here in place of x, in place of x, this expression is there. So in the given function, wherever x is there, there you write this then you will get 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y minus 2 whole divided by 2 minus 3y divided by 1 minus y minus 3. Now you do the little bit of simplification. See here in the denominator 1 minus y here also 1 minus y will get cancelled after simplification. So what is remaining in the numerator 2 minus 3y minus 2 into 1 minus y. Take LCM after taking LCM only 1 minus y will get cancelled. Okay. 1 minus y in the numerator, 1 minus y in the denominator will get cancelled. Okay. 2 minus 3y minus 2 into 1 minus y. 2 minus 3y minus 3 into 1 minus y. Okay. Now little bit of simplification. 2 minus 3y minus 2 minus of minus plus 2y. Okay. 2 minus 3y minus 3 minus of minus plus 3y. Now you see here plus 2 minus 2 will get cancelled plus 3y minus 3y will get cancelled. What is remaining in the numerator? Minus 3y plus 2y. Minus 3y plus 2y is minus y. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So minus y divided by minus 1 is y. So what happened here? I proved that f of x equal to y. You know whenever we are going to prove the function is onto function, first we will take y in the codomain set. For that we will search for x in domain set and we will prove that f of x equal to y. So as what I proved, I taken an element y in codomain set. Respectively, there exists an element x in domain set such that f of x equal to y. Therefore, given function is onto function. So from 1 and 2, 1 says that this function is 1, 1 function. 2 says that this function is onto function. From 1 and 2, what I can say from 1 and 2, I can say that this function is bijective function. If a function is 1, 1 function and onto function, then we say the function is bijective function. What they are asking in the question? They are asking is this function is 1 1 onto? Yes, this function is 1 1 onto. See, this is all about to practice. If you understand first five problems of this exercise, now what I am discussing here, you can understand. Directly, if you are watching this problem, whatever explanation I am doing onto, you may not get it clearly. Because in the beginning, the simple problems we discussed uh, about onto function, when the function is onto function, how we will prove, when the function is not onto function, how easily we will write the answer. All those things I am discussing from the beginning onwards. It's all about uh, going through one after another. This is not a chapter like suddenly you will pick one question and you can understand. It is about from beginning onwards, you need to learn all the things. First, learn the definition of 1-1 function. 
learn the definition of onto function you learn how we will check one one function you learn how we will check onto function when the function is one one function how we write the answer when the function is not one one function then how we will give the counter example when the function is onto function how we will write the answer when the function is not onto function then how we will write the answer this is a practice uh, for all the problems we do not follow the same procedure there you will confuse suppose uh, a particular problem to prove onto function we may follow one procedure for the next problem we net we may not follow the same procedure so to get clarity on these things you go through all the problems you try to understand what is the definition of one one function what is the definition of onto function why for a particular problem why we followed this procedure for the next problem why we are not unable to follow this problem you try to catch that point once you catch that you can enjoy this chapter like anything right now we'll move to the next question question number 11 check the injectivity and surjectivity of the function f from r to r defined by f of x equal to x power 4 this is actually multiple choice question four options will be there you need to pick one option from that f is from r to r i didn't written options here at the end i'll discuss what are the given options f is a function from real numbers to real numbers it is defined as f of x equal to x power 4 first i written f is a function from real numbers to real numbers and f of x equal to x power 4 as per the options we need to check both one one function and onto function first here x power 4 is there what is one one function different elements must have different images 1 minus 1 both are real numbers i'll calculate f of 1 f of 1 is 1 power 4 1 power 4 is 1 only f of minus 1 is minus 1 whole power 4 that is 1 only what happened here image of 1 is 1 image of minus 1 is also 1 it tells you that different elements have the same image different elements 1 minus 1 have same image but actually as per the definition different elements must have different images so what i can say here it fails to satisfy 1 1 condition therefore we say that the function is not 1 1 okay now about onto function see here as the function is x power 4 its codomain is all real numbers its codomain is all real numbers when i take uh, whatever x value i take whatever real number i take when I calculate x power 4, it is either positive or 0. So, this tells you that there is no pre-image for negative real numbers. As you are doing 11th problem, in earlier problems also, I did problems like this. x square problem we did in the second question. x square problem we did. I explained clearly over there. By seeing the question itself, you need to get that point. Here x power 4 is there. That means all images are positive or 0. What is codomain? Codomain is all real numbers. That means negative real numbers doesn't have any pre-image. That idea you should get. In case if that idea you, do, you are not getting means you will confuse like anything in this chapter. So again, go back to first definition. Uh, come after one after another problem, then definitely your doubts will be cleared. Right? Okay. Now, you see here uh, for an example when the function is not onto function we'll give counter example minus 3 is a negative real number for that negative real number there doesn't exist any real number such that f of x equal to minus 3 what i am trying to say you take one real number and take whole power 4 what real number power 4 is minus 3 what real number power 4 is minus 3 when we take whole power 4 whatever answer we will get that is either positive or 0 it never gives you minus 3 this tells you that no pre-image for the element minus 3 in codomain no pre-image for the element minus 3 okay therefore we say that the function is not on 2 so this function is not 1 1 this function is not on 2 so if you see the options in the material uh, there is option uh, last option f is neither 1 1 nor on 2 so that is the right option now last question in this exercise check the injectivity and surjectivity of the function they given f is from r to r and f of x equal to 3x i'll tell you a point here when f of x equal to ax plus b when f of x equal to ax plus b and f is from r to r then that function is clearly on 2 it is a shortcut actually but whenever you see such type of problems in puc keep this in your mind f of x is of the form ax plus b and f is from r to r then the function is bisective function okay 
So by seeing the question itself, I got an idea that this is 1, 1 and on 2 because f of x is of the form ax plus b and the function is defined from real numbers to real numbers. Okay, f is from r to r, f of x is 3x. I need to check, uh, this is also multiple choice options are there. By seeing the options, I came to know that I need to check 1, 1 function as well as on 2 function. Okay, 1, 1 function. First, I'll take f of x1 equal to f of x2. What is f of x1? f of x1 is 3x1, f of x2 is 3x2, 3, 3 will get cancelled, x1 equal to x2. What you came to know, f of x1 equal to f of x2 implies x1 equal to x2, therefore f is 1, 1 function. Now on to function, how to uh, check on to function? First, you take a given function as y, you take f of x equal to y, afterwards you write x in terms of y, let x equal to y by 3. Now you take an element y in codo mindset for that there exists x in domain set. What is x? x is y by 3. When y is a real number, you take any real number y, you substitute here, x is also real number that you can check. You take any real number, y is 0, 0 by 3 is 0, 0 is a real number. So, for any real number y, there exists x, x is also real number. Now, I need to check f of x equal to y or not, f of x. What is x have we taken? We taken x is y by 3, okay, f of y by 3 f of y by 3. What is f of x? f of x is 3x. f of x is 3x. What is f of y by 3? In 3x, here in place of x, y by 3 is there. Na? In place of x, here y by 3 is there. Na? In 3x also, in place of x, you write y by 3. 3 into, in place of x, you write y by 3. 3, 3 will get cancelled, you will get y. Therefore, for y belongs to r, there exists x belongs to r such that f of x equal to y. Therefore, f is on 2. What happened here? This function is 1, 1 function. This function is on to function. Therefore, f is 1, 1 and on to. Therefore, given function is bisect 2. So, in this, uh, there is a option, I think, uh, A option, first option, first option, 1, 1 on to. The function is 1, 1 on to. That option is the right option. I hope you understand this exercise. See, Functions is a chapter most important in a JE point of view, K set point of view. Functions is like a heart of the mathematics. You must be good in this chapter. But unfortunately, whatever the topics are there, uh, you can understand those topics, but you need uh, good practice. You may know what is reflexive relation, but while doing the problems, all problems are not same procedure. Different, different problems, different, different procedure will be there. So. This is actually easy, but it is easy only when you are good in all concepts and when you practice all exercise problems, all worked examples, then only you will get good grip on this. Once you did all these problems, when you revise the second time, then at that time you can enjoy this chapter. This is not like a matzah chapter where when explanation is going on, at that time only you will understand, no need of much practice. This, this is not such type of chapter. You need more practice, right? I hope you understand this exercise. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.